name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your, your spirit. Gathered together as God's greater family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from His mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything to hold your ground, so stand past with your loose and girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, with all prayer and supplication. Pray at every opportunity in the Spirit to that end be watchful with the perseverance and all supplications for all the holy ones and also for me, that speech may be given me to open my mouth to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. We all rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and I perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow and the following day. For it is impossible that the prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you, how many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. But you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Bless is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This uh, Gospel that we have uh, just heard gives us a glimpse or it is a rare moment wherein Jesus used the image of uh, a mother, a female character, in trying to show and stress the quality of God or the character of God. That's why he said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I yearn to gather your children together as a mother hen gathers her brood under her wings. In other words, Jesus was attributing a female or a maternal quality to God. A God who is caring, a God who is gentle, a God who is loving. In fact, in Isaiah, Isaiah tells us that God's love even surpasses that of a mother's love because in Isaiah 49, it says, Even if a mother shall forget the baby in her womb, I will never forget you because you are mine. I have carved your name on the palm of my hands. Again, in Isaiah, when the Israelites were going back to the Promised Land or to Israel after their captivity, he gave them an assurance. As a mother fondles her baby on her lap, so will I comfort you. You know, God does not have a gender. Wala pong kasarian ang Panginoon sapagkat siya ay spirito. So, God can assume female qualities, good qualities, as well as uh, male qualities. God as powerful, God as provider. On the other hand, God as gentle and caring. Hinihiram po, lang, hinihiram po lang natin ang lengguahe hango sa ating karanasan upang uh, uh, isalarawan natin kung sino ang Panginoong Diyos. Kaya yung uh, terminolohiya na tatay, aba, father, ay hango yan sa ating karanasan at uh, ginagabit natin upang uh, may paliwanag o may pahiwatig kung sino ang Panginoong Diyos. Because how can we know about God unless we use human language? And so the first reference when we use, for example, the term father is referred first to your biological father 
and yet we apply it to God and assume that all the good qualities of a father can also be found in God. That's why we say God is our loving father, all-knowing, all-loving, all-present. And so there is no problem also in attributing to God maternal qualities like what Jesus has shown in the gospel today. So the question is, what are the qualities or what quality could we found in a mother's love? It is faithfulness. Kahit po basagulero ang kanyang anak, kahit po ilang beses nang nasakta ng nanay, mamahalin pa rin niya ang kanyang anak. So in other words, a maternal love reflects God's love, God's faithfulness. Kaya napakaganda yung sinabi dito sa ating Ibanghelyo. I yearn to gather you. Yung uh, English na yearn, ibig sabihin yun, minimithi, ninanasa, inasamasam ng Panginoon na tayo'y lilikumin na tayo'y mamahalin, na tayo'y aangkupin. Kaya nga in, one, in Psalm 139, it says there, it is not really we who are running after God, but it is God as it were running after us. Because in Psalm 139, it says, if, you, if I go down to the heavens, if I go down to the netherworld, you are there. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. Where can I run? from your love. Even when I was being formed in my mother's womb, you knew me. You counted all my bones. In other words, God is ever faithful. God is the one running after us, telling us, I love you, come back. Ito po ay makikita sa karanasan ni Propeta Hosea. Alam niyo po si Propeta Hosea ay mayroong pong asawa na uh, very unfaithful. She was always running away with other men. And so, one day, Prophet Hosea complained to God, Lord, I'm a prophet and my wife is very unfaithful. What should I do? The Lord answered, Take back your wife, Hosea. Forgive her. And so, Hosea took back her wife, his wife. But the same thing happened over and over again. A very unfaithful wife at that. And Hosea complained, How can I have credibility as your prophet if my wife is very unfaithful? What lesson are you trying to teach me in this experience, Lord? And the Lord God said, You know, Prophet Hosea, I am just like you. And my people, the Israelites, are like your wife. They are very unfaithful. But every time they sin against me, every time they are unfaithful, I always take them back. I always take them back. And so it is not surprising why Jesus used the image of a mother hen. How I wish to gather you like a mother hen, gather her brood young ones, her cheeks under her wings. St. Paul tells us that we live by faith, not by sight. The cheeks under the wings of the mother, the mother hen feels so secure because they are protected by God's love. And so, in this time of pandemic, let us trust in God's love. And also stress the positive maternal qualities of God even in our relationships. God as loving, God as caring, God as gentle. That's why Jesus said, God is ever faithful. 
Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Ask and you shall receive. Because we believe in a God who is ever faithful and ever loving. Please rise. Aware of our mission in the world to be prophets of God's merciful love, let us pray to our Father to make us faithful and courageous in our task as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leader, may be faithful to her prophetic task of pointing out to the peoples of our times the values of the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That contradiction and opposition may not discourage or embitter those who work for a better world, but that love may inspire them to move on. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may receive God's word willingly, even if it's demand much from us or upsets us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, government officials, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decision to fight this pan public health crisis, and that they put the welfare of the general public first above self-interest. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, your Son Jesus, live as he spoke. Give us the Holy Spirit to follow him without hesitation on the way to your kingdom where he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we pray on the offerings we make to your majesty, 
that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord, the our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, who in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we acclaim your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, that he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we remember your son's death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters, relatives and friends, and all those recommended to our prayers in this Mass, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially from coronavirus, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the saints, especially Arnold Johnson, Joseph Renadimets, Blessed Helena of Sefa, Pedro Calungsod, Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, and John Paul II, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God, Abba, Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer a solid sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please rise. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. God, our, our Father, Father, we, we come, come to you, to you in our need. need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease 
and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimets, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Saints Arnold and Joseph, pray for us. Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, 